cannot give you back your homes or restore your dead to life, but perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. Hey everyone, recently I've been watching Season 7 of Game of Thrones and concentrating on possible foreshadowing in the background of scenes, mostly because I find new things pop out every time I watch the older seasons. So today I want to talk a little bit about one thing that I believe might play a big role in the last season, the Dragon Ballista. Basically a mega sized wooden crossbow that shoots large bolts at its target. In Season 7, Episode 2, Kyburn took Cersei under the Red Keep to show her a way that the Lannister army could defeat Danny and her dragons. Since Drogon was known to be wounded in the fighting pits, Kyburn assured his queen that in using this ballista, they could penetrate the dragon's naturally armored skin. Watching the events unfold a few episodes later, we know that the use of the ballista ultimately failed when Drogon didn't die in battle. However, this got me thinking. Why would the show include even one minute of airtime on this when they have to cut about 90% of most material from the books? I feel like the ballista may be used again in a future battle, but when? There isn't much time left and every second counts, so will the scorpion bolt launcher be used to bring down the Night King on top of the undead Viserion? Or do you think that one of the other two dragons will be targeted with this weapon? If we look at how the Night King brought down Viserion, you'll notice how in comparison to the wooden ballista, the Ice Spear had much more power. First of all, the Night King doesn't necessarily need to hit a dragon in its most vital spot. The power and magic he contains is obviously enough to bring down just about anything in the known world. Now that Viserion is controlled by the Night King, it may prove even more difficult for a ballista to endanger the magical beast. That's why I believe if the scorpion is to be used one more time before the series ends, it will be against one of Danny's remaining dragons. One thought is maybe if the Great War doesn't fare so well for the humans, there is a chance that the dead claim both Drogon and Rhaegal as their own. If that happens, then you've got three undead dragons all under the control of the Night King himself. Meaning if anyone else is alive by that point, the ballista seems to be the only kind of weapon that could be of use against the undead dragons. So what do you guys think? Will we see the dragon ballista concept be used to try to take out one of Danny's last dragons or the undead Viserion? Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, have a great day, take care, and see you soon.